how should Christians think about artificial intelligence? Is AI the result of man playing God? Is man attempting to create something out of their own image? One AI expert warned of technology becoming a pseudo-religion, saying, artificial intelligence can alter humanity's relationship with reality to the point that humanity's desire for control, which satisfies the anxiety typical of the human condition, could take on a tendency toward a pseudo-religion regarding machines. The theologian said that as machines become increasingly humanized, humans also become increasingly mechanized. Forbes recently published an article headlined, Five AI Predictions for the Year 2030. Here are a couple of points that the article highlights. We will interact with a wide range of AIs in our daily lives, as naturally as we interact with other humans today. By the year 2030, we will use AIs as our personal assistants, our tutors, our career counselors, our therapists, our accountants, our lawyers. They will be ubiquitous in our work lives, conducting analysis, writing code, building products, selling products, supporting customers, coordinating across teams and organizations, making strategic decisions. And yes, by 2030, it will be commonplace for humans to have AIs as significant others. Let's just stop there for a second and read that again. By 2030, it will be commonplace for humans to have AIs as significant others. This is not God's design for anyone when it comes to a relationship. This is not the biblical definition of marriage or love between a husband and wife. Now, the article further goes on to say, over 100,000 humanoid robots will be deployed in the real world. Though most people don't yet realize it, humanoids are on the verge of being deployed in the real world. Tesla is investing heavily to develop a humanoid robot named Optimus. The company aims to begin shipping the robots to customers in 2025. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has stated, in no uncertain terms, how important he expects this technology to be for the company and the world. I'm surprised that people do not realize the magnitude of the Optimus robot program. The importance of Optimus will become apparent in the coming years. Dear listener, we are in an era when biblical prophecies are coming to pass at an alarming rate. Some prophecies are by prophets in the Old Testament, while others are the words of Christ himself. But the time is inconsequential. It is the realization that matters. And right now, the most prominent biblical prophecy flying around is the increase in knowledge. Daniel 12, 4 says, But you, Daniel, roll up and seal the words of the scroll until the time of the end. Many will go here and there to increase knowledge. While you may think this verse talks about technology, generally, that's not the first focus. The first thing is that men would become desperate to seek answers in the end time. They want to know more about themselves, the universe, and the supreme being without acknowledging the existence of God. This is the main root of technology. And today, this verse is more glaring in the explosion of AI. While technology has been evolving for centuries, the world has never experienced a mighty wave like that of AI. We're quickly getting to the stage where technology in this form can speak, reason, and even perform tasks only humans can. What is the main reason behind these inventions? It all boils down to the need for an answer. It goes beyond creating tools to ease our daily lives and the quest to push beyond human limitations. Many hearts are drifting away from God to artificial things. They want to know the mystery behind how every cell in humans came to be, yet they don't want to know God. They want to travel back in time to discover how the planets, galaxies, and systems came to be, but they forget that God is an unsearchable being. They want to enjoy a better life. They want quick results for everything. However, they no longer want to wait on God because He works with time. But is that the true way? Will AI replace God in our lives? Moreover, what are the dangers behind the AI technology? Is this part of the Antichrist's preparation for his rule? You need to remember that AI does not come to life itself. 
There are humans behind the creation of these humanoids. What's their main aim? According to researchers, they want to make them godlike. This simple statement looks like what Lucifer thought of before God cast him out of heaven. Consider the five I wills of Lucifer, as found in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Don't you think man today is replicating this ideology somehow? By wanting to create something godlike with all the answers and infinite knowledge? The thirst for answers has built a demonic agenda in the minds of men. They want to perform actions that are above human abilities. Thus, they keep increasing knowledge and trying to bring their crooked thoughts to pass. They believe AI will one day surpass human reasoning and become a decision-making force. And what will humans do? Well, people will most likely inadvertently worship and idolize AI technology. This is a direct war against God's worship. One indirect effect of AI is that it becomes an idol to people, and many people will inadvertently worship the technology. And when I say worship, I don't mean in the traditional sense of bowing down and praying to it, but I mean they will become dependent on it. They will rely on it and trust in it more than they depend on the Bible or trust in the Word of God. In fact, you'll find people going to AI in order to understand the Bible as opposing to seeking the Holy Spirit so that He can bring understanding. Let's cast our minds back to the Tower of Babel in the book of Genesis. The people gathered after the flood and decided to build a tall building that would reach heaven. What was their aim? They wanted to speak with God directly. The Bible says that God saw their hearts and decided to change their language. They left the building site because confusion had entered their midst. The same might happen in our days. God is in heaven, looking at the creation of these machines. He might decide to end them suddenly. But wait, that won't happen so quickly. Why? The Antichrist has not started his reign. AI is part of his plans. How do I know? Revelation 13, verse 4 to 6 says, People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast. And they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can wage war against it? The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise its authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. This would happen during the reign of the Antichrist. However, it's similar to what AI professes today. They'll become godlike. People will worship them. Aside from this, it's a very reasonable assumption that the Antichrist will most likely use AI to manipulate humans. Whoever wishes to buy or sell has to take the mark of the beast. How would the Antichrist know that a person has not taken the mark if not through a super-intelligent machine? AI developers are already discussing microchips that can be inserted into the head. This would help us feel more lively and powerful. Are these not shadows of what the Antichrist would do during his reign? In a nutshell, there are huge similarities between AI and the activities of the Antichrist. Unfortunately, many believers have embraced this. We must wake up to the fact that AI will never be the answer we seek. It will never lead to anything good. Instead, it will draw us away from God. Knowledge has increased, but it should not overrule God's existence in our lives. Only God can do marvelous things. Developers are still creating more AI, but these machines cannot perform some activities. First, AI cannot speak anything into existence. Only God can do this. He created heaven and earth in Genesis 1.1, but in Genesis 1.2, he declared light with his words. That's God in action. 
I've not seen an AI speak life to something. Only God can give peace, comfort, and guidance. While AI might be able to answer your prompts, it can't feed your emotions or the spiritual part of you. You can ask it how to get to a place, but it can't tell you if you will have an accident. This again shows its inability to predict the future, as many claim. When you feel down, AI can offer inspirational talk, but not ease off your stress or give you peace. Again, only God can do that. That's why going to the internet is an error when you should seek God. Don't make AI your God. God does not make mistakes. This is another fact that AI and its developers find difficult to swallow. People have attributed countless errors to AI. It can suddenly malfunction or even give wrong answers. But God will never fail. When He speaks, His words are yea and amen. He does not lie. Moreover, can AI perform miracles? You could ask AI to tell you how to open a blind eye. Let's see what it tells you. Well, maybe you receive some medical instructions. However, AI cannot heal cancer or any terminal diseases. AI cannot raise the dead or walk on water. Only Jesus can. AI can help you prepare your meals, but can't give you spiritual blessings. These are few instances in which you cannot compare God with AI. Developers claim that AI would be godlike, but that's impossible. Always remember that God fearfully and wonderfully made you. AI is just a machine. You shouldn't let it be at the center of your life. Developers call it the future of humanity. But what does the Bible say? Matthew 24 verse 35 says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. We should always remember this verse as we navigate this world. End time prophecies are coming to pass. This verse seems to end it all. Revelation 21 verse 1 also says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. AI might be trending now. However, God's word will come to pass. He sees all these things, but will let them remain only for a time. Don't get caught up with these machines. They are preparations for the Antichrist's rule. No believer would want to partake in this. Therefore, fix your heart on God as we expect Christ's second return. Strive to be part of the new heaven and the new earth.